So op art was mainly uh, related to the 60s and became very popular. So when I was a young child and uh, a teenager, I, um, I was already fond of this art. Yes. And that inspired you? Yes, mm -hmm. and of course uh, optical illusions. Uh, so if you abbreviate optical art to optical illusions, you come to op art museum and you dedicate yourself to optical illusions in the broader sense of the world. So not, not only art, not only photography, not only painting, not only architecture. But also scientific, everything, everything to do with optical illusions, or maybe eventually only with illusions. And how has it been uh, for you to make the switch from your own independent business owner to running a museum? Um, well, uh, I think making a museum is uh, as simple as making a shop. A shop is a place where you find a cash register. And uh, of course you should have something that you can sell. But basically it's a space where you find a cash register and then you can say it's a shop. Mm -hmm. When you don't have anything to sell, then you have a shop without anything to, show, to, to sell. Um, so if you have a space and you say, well now it's a museum, it is one. But when you don't exhibit anything, you don't have a museum with anything in it. That's, then you have a museum but with nothing in it, you could say. So you only have to make an exhibition.